Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. I'm always glad, I'm always excited each time God lays a word in my spirit because I know it's a word in season for someone. God is about to minister to someone powerfully and God is about to reveal his mind to you uh, concerning something. And I am privileged to be in that position to bring this word to you. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you're joining, this is the first time you're clicking on um, my videos a special welcome to you thank you so much for joining please check to see if you're already subscribed to this channel if not kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button and please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time there is the release of a prophetic word you will be the first to know i always say you never know when god has a direct message for you a direct instruction you don't want to miss out on that hallelujah glory to god now god is giving this prophetic word and it's for those who have been um, praying you're believing god for a particular miracle for so long you have been praying and believing God for this particular thing for so long and at some point it feels like God is not answering at some point it feels like God does not even have the intention to answer your prayers or to you know bring this come to pass this word is for you this word is for you I just woke up and God said this is the name of your child this is the name of your child and this is this is what it signifies i mean it was um some kind of a metaphor because um when the lord led me to the bible i started asking god okay so is this supposed to be a literal word or a figurative word and god began to minister to me he said when you wait on god even while serving him it is not wasting time waiting time is not wasting time when you wait upon god for his promises even when you are serving him even when you are faithful in his house even when you keep doing the things he tells you to do you are not wasting your time at the appointed moment that prayer will be answered at the appointed time that prayer will come to pass or the promise he gave you will surely come to pass and so to 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 give this word more grounds god led me to the book of luke chapter one actually it started with the birth of um, it started with the story of zachariah and wife elizabeth the bible recounts that these people were faithful of god they served the lord as a matter of fact zachariah was a priest of god and they have been believing God for a child for so long and that uh, 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 promise or that prayer was not answered the Bible says Elizabeth was barren and so she could not conceive of a child but they kept on serving God they did not lose hope they did not give up so many of us when we ask God for something one year two years three years you're like no God is not faithful I don't believe God is going to do this to me anymore I don't believe this is going to happen and you slap on your service to God or you backslide you stop talking about God you stop reading your Bible you stop praying you stop seeking the face of the Lord because you think it has not happened it will not happen no if God has said it it will surely come to pass and if you are believing God for something that is noble something that is true something that is of good report God will surely bring it to pass this couple we are talking about Zechariah and Zechariah and Elizabeth they did not lose hope they kept on serving God they kept on believing and this fateful day when Zechariah was serving it was his turn to serve in the temple and while he went in the in the innermost car serving the Lord ministering to the Lord an angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him your child your your wife is going to conceive i mean they had already forgotten about it so much so that zachariah doubted zachariah did not believe in the promise he did not believe in what the angel was saying because at that moment he was no longer serving god because he wanted something from god but he was serving god because of his love for god i i really do hope we get to that point when it is not because of what God can do for us but it's because of how much we love God I really hope we get to that point where uh, 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 um, it is not a, a, a give or take relationship where we stop merchandising our love for God 
that we can we can just love on God whether he does the things he has promised or not whether he does the things we are believing him for or not we will continue to love and we will continue to serve him that is the very essence that is the point Zachariah had got into he did not longer serve God because uh, um, he, he was believing God for a child no he was all about his love for God and the angel of the Lord appeared to her to him and told him all of that and now this is what got my attention maybe we have got to read it all right um, Luke chapter 1 from verse 12 says when Zechariah saw him he was startled and was gripped with fear 13 but the angel said to him do not be afraid Zechariah your prayer has been heard your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you are to give him the name John Hmm. Now, verse 14 says, He will be a joy and delight to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That thing you have been believing him for, it is coming. And it is coming in a grand style. He says, it will be a joy and a delight to you. And many will rejoice because of his birth. So that blessing that is coming is not just for you. That blessing that is coming, even though it is going to make you so happy, but it's not just for you. Even the people around you, it's going to give them so much joy and verse 15 says for he will be great in the sight of the Lord he will never he is never to take wine or other ferment, fermented drink and he will be filled with the Holy Ghost with the Holy Spirit even from his birth many of the people of Israel will he bring back to the Lord their God and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn their hearts of the fathers to their children and the disobedience to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord what they were believing God for what they were hoping for it did not just come but it came in a grand style it's not just come it came with so much anointing it came with so much greatness embedded upon it and so god is telling someone what you have been praying and believing him for when god wants to make it happen it will not just be um that regular thing you are believing him for maybe you are believing for a kingdom spouse god will not just send any kind of person to you when it is the appointed time of the lord he will send someone that when people see they are going to marvel he's going to do something that will not just end with you it's going to be a source of blessing to others hallelujah glory to god like i said waiting in service to god waiting in the presence of god is not wasted time when the appointed time comes and god wants to do it it will be big it will be great it will be loud in the mighty name of jesus i want to pray for someone that has been waiting upon god and it seems like god is not here i want to pray for you that you will not lose hope that you will continue in faith and in seeking the face of the lord you will not be disappointed you will not be you will not feel tired or weary but that you will be strengthened by your love for god because god is about to answer and it will be big it will be great it will be worth celebrating in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God did you receive this word with gladness may the Lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus mighty name amen God bless you